This is one of the more bizarre ET races from the UFO phenomenon. They're known as the Mantis race, but also as the Insectoids in some circles. And they are one of the most enigmatic and freakish looking aliens that contactees have allegedly encountered. The Mantis race supposedly comes from the Sombrero galaxy, 28 million light years away from Earth. So they're road trippers, incapable of traveling massive distances across the stars. And according to the lore, there's actually many such insectoid races that originate from the Sombrero galaxy. But it's this faction of Mantis in particular that have a consistent involvement with our galactic community. Now, many claim that these alien beings are benevolent, but evidence would suggest that they're not always what they seem. The Mantis show great talent for deception and are excellent at manipulating human emotions to their own agenda. So, looking at it objectively, their intentions are definitely questionable. In appearance, the Mantis look just like praying Mantis found here on Earth. Though humanoid and uh, bipedal, walking and using limbs just like humans. Though their senses differ greatly. These beings have a heightened awareness, almost like a form of radar, and can communicate with pheromones in the very air or even read the presence of other beings through pheromones in the area. They can also see much greater spectrums in energy and light than humans are capable of. So, to them, the world would appear as a cascading carnival of sensation of different lights and energy everywhere in the air that humans are blind to. Mantis are also highly sensitive to sound and look very intimidating with their huge bug-like black saucer eyes. Instead of skin, they have an exoskeleton that is incredibly thick and durable, at least according to accounts. Their exoskeleton has been reported to be a variety of different colors, including black, white, green, brown. There's a lot of individuality to them, just as there is in humans. They're also incredibly tall when standing up straight, reaching up to nine feet, with a torso that's long and thin, just like their limbs, which have far more joints than humans do and can be unnerving to look upon, to say the least. Though they may be insectoid, the mantis show signs of individuality, both physically and mentally, just like humans. They're self-aware and maintain their own consciousness. They're not part of a hive mind, which according to some, make them pretty unique in the cosmos concerning insectoid races, who are mostly just a part of a bigger whole and lack individuality whatsoever. Abductees have reported that their exoskeletons look like they're covered in some unknown oily substance and they're pristine and taken care of and shined. It could be a form of their vanity. Though according to contactee accounts, they're usually just seen wearing long robes. These beings have even allegedly been caught on film. Here's some footage from Taiwan that is supposed to be legit. Taiwan 高山美景的山坡上
这是一名陈先生去年五月二十五号在台东嘉明湖拍摄到的照片。回家后才惊觉自己竟然拍到了这张疑似外星人的照片，让飞碟学会极度怀疑这就是外星人。他大概是站在这个位置，啊，站在这个位置，啊，拍照者大概是在站在这里拍的。传回现场以及找专家分析照片，都没有发现照片造假或动过手脚，但摄影专家还是找出不合理的地方。合成技巧有很多种，所以我们无法得知它是由什么样的去做合成的。然后它有可能是在拍摄的时候它有去动到，都有可能。我目击者应该不可能只有一个人，对，因为如果照的鼻的话，它可能它的这外星的鼻，它可能跟山一样大。现在学会打算与国外研究团体进行分析。其实多年来，民众对于外星生物是否存在一直都有问号。而这次在台东嘉明湖拍到了疑似外星人的照片，更让当地增添了几分外星人的神秘色彩。但是真是假，只能说信者。Yeah, that's pretty weird. Though, like many, or I guess all lore, there's often contradicting sources. Some lore says that these beings come from the Orion Belt, or even the Draco system, being part of the Reptilian Empire. With the Reptilians being、uh, a well-known ET race that are dicks in the UFO phenomenon and starseed communities, they are a known malevolent force in the cosmos. And responsible for much suffering in our universe. Though we'll save this evil ET race for another time. The Mantis, though, they have different origins and ambitions, depending on what source you're looking at. And it's safe to say that the insectoids inspire great fear in humans because of their frightful appearance. Encounters with this species are not nearly as common as ones with Pleiadians or Zeta Reticulans, but these aliens command just as much attention. They can't communicate with humans verbally because they obviously lack the required biology, but the mantis do communicate with other species telepathically. Their natural language is just a bunch of unnerving clicks and clacks with one another. It's possible too that this telepathy that they use to communicate with humans is just a piece of technology, because in many close encounters, contactees say that they have technology to project illusions around them, making themselves appear human. These holograms have often ceased at the most inopportune moment, horrifying the human onlooker. Most mantis abductions begin with a person frozen in sleep paralysis, who slowly becomes aware of an ominous presence in the room, just before the aliens bend down to look at them.、Uh, this is horrifying for obvious reasons, and when abducted to the mantis vessel. The insectoids perform medical procedures and in instances of interrogation. Abductees have reported that inside the insectoids' vessel, they're served by gray aliens, the most commonly reported ET race, which is fascinating concerning the UFO phenomenon as a whole. Now, the motivation behind mantis abductions remains mysterious. Sometimes they're uplifting. And positive, using holographic projections to educate the abductee. I mean, there are many documented encounters of these holographic education abductions. And interesting to note is that abductees often claim to have gained a level of psychic abilities after their abduction is over. However, for every positive tale of an abduction concerning the mantis race. There's a darker one too. A large number of abductees state that the mantis have no interest in humankind's well-being whatsoever. They have supposedly been overheard calling humanity a resource, and that Earth should be conquered and controlled. Yet, for some unknown reason, the mantis cannot openly engage with us or interfere with our development. <laughs> well, I mean, at least not in a way that would affect humanity as a whole, because there's nothing stopping them from abducting humans right and left. 
Some abductees say that they want to harvest our DNA for its apparently unique properties. And one of their main intentions is to create a human mantis hybrid. And the way that they get this DNA is pretty freaky because it involves humans having relationships with the aliens, if you know what I mean. And all of that in plain view of all the other insectoids, like it is a, a science show or something, which is probably pretty traumatic. But frightening medical procedures are a common theme in these insectoid encounters. And there's some abductees that claim to have been taken to another world where the mantis are taskmasters or overseers of chained humanoid aliens with all of them performing manual slave-like labor. So as you can see, there is a very negative light on these mantis. But what about the so-called positive encounters? If you can call them positive encounters, could it just be brainwashing? Sleeper agents? Some interstellar good cop, bad cop routine? From abductee report to abductee report, their demeanor changes from loving and gentle to harsh and cruel. With this dynamic changing, sometimes in a single encounter, whether the mantis are just morally shades of gray like humans or sociopathic deceivers, it doesn't matter. An encounter with a mantis is most certainly not in any human's benefit. Though there are those who claim otherwise. However, evidence suggests that the ET mantis race are hardly trustworthy 